love from love, hope from hope, and peace from peace. It's, it's really time. So praise the Lord endlessly. Hello. <laughs> it is time to praise the Lord. And, you know, it's time that we have some smiles on our faces because God is good. Let us always praise him endlessly because as we do, we're lifted up to a higher place with them him and the union is edifying unto us so let's not be crazy and not uh, want to hear praise of our beloved so praise the lord that these are the days of elijah days of shiloh days of joshua water steam and ice days of isa yeshua jesus uh, all the same guy and so too is the latter-day Daniel, who I am, foretold to be a writer, line by line, precept by precept, with the strong and mighty one come forth as a destroying storm because of the appointment of Jeremiah 1.10, that God wants to tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations and distortionalities of the word of God and the word of love so that people might finally get along with the revelation that we are angels in the flesh angels jesus said we are gods in john 10 and all the creation has been groaning with great expectation for that revelation of who we are thus saith the lord god of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hand command ye me isaiah 45 so i adjure you in the name of love to to seek ye first the kingdom of God's love and all things will be added unto you. So praise the Lord. It's time for some new definitions and it's time to get ahead because as we reach for the stars in these days, we know without any doubt that there really are footprints on the moon. So blessed are those discovering that forgiving others is by far love's toughest work and its biggest risk. But uh, it's a huge payoff uh, to do that since it's far better, uh, it's far beyond the most magnificent splendor of our arising uh, peace's most radiant glory for those walking in the spirit of love because his love is the glory of his own honor and the magnificence of his beneficence. So for that reason, the Lord said, the Father's kingdom is like a person who wanted to kill someone powerful. While still at home, he drew his sword and thrust it into the wall to find out whether his hand would go in. And then he killed the powerful one. Uh, for whoever does not hate father and mother as I, as, as I do not cannot be my disciple. And whoever does not love the father and mother as I do cannot be my disciple. For my mother and uh, my father are love, and so shall it be for all of us. So all he was saying was that we must hate everything that is not of love, because love is all and all. So praise the Lord, and it's time that we need to get ahead with, uh, with that and the Lord will make a way where there has seemed to be no way at all. And so blessed are all those in peace's most blissful kingdom age understanding that our very own love desperately needs to become higher than the highest heights and lower than the lowest depths in order to dissolve all unloving ways away by love's most passionate transcendence. For it is not by power nor by might, but by the spirit of love that the kingdom age shall arise, one heart at a time. Uh, that is why the, the Lord has said that the Father's kingdom is like a wo woman. She took a little leaven and she hid, hid it in dough and she made it into large loaves of bread. So is anyone out there having uh, any with anyone with two ears to hear with they better listen hard because the father's kingdom is like a woman who was carrying a jar of, of grain and while she was walking alone uh, 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 
on a distant road. Unbeknownst unto her, the handle of the jar broke and the meal, the grain spilled uh, behind her all along the road, kind of like Hansel and Gretel with the uh, breadcrumbs to visualize. And she did not know it, but she had not noticed uh, that there was any problem. But finally, when she reached her home and she started to pay attention, she awoke to the realization that her jar was empty and that she had lost it along her journey. Don't lose your everlasting joy along your journey. So blessed are all those believing that if what any teacher turns out to be an error, that their disciples' submission turns out to be slavery. But if such a person teaches truth, then their submission would only bring forth ennoblement as a robe of love's purest purity. So blessed are all those discovering that to be satisfied with a little is the greatest wisdom of all. And he that increases his riches increases his cares. But contented minds uh, are hi a hidden treasure within. And trouble never finds a person of such perfection that is content with little. But for those not content with little, what little they had will be taken from them. So the disciples one day asked, Lord, your brothers and your mother are standing outside. And he said to them, and uh, they were kind of rushing him to, to leave where he was. And he said, there, there are those here who do what my father wants are my brothers and my mother. They are the ones who will enter the father's kingdom. So then they showed Jesus a gold coin and said unto him, The Roman emperor's people demands tax from us. And he says, Give to the emperor what belongs to the emperor, and give God what belongs to God, and give me what is mine, love. And that's what he was asking of them, and they did not want to hear that. So know the God's beloved ones of obedience shall only put their most cherished trust in the blazing name of our beloved Lord, our God, uh, for his is the name above all others. His name is love, and all those who love are born of God and know him because he is love. And every knee shall bow at the name of love, Christ's name. Uh, and that is First John 4, 7. And uh, for it's the name above all names, above all kings, above all powers, and people shall only trust in that only blessed name that's ever been given unto mankind, which souls may be saved. And his name is Esau, Yeshua, and Jesus, the living word of God, our Messiah, our good shepherd over all the flocks of man. Uh, the majesty of majesties, our king of kings, lord of lords, judge of judges. He is the light of the world and the everlasting glory of Israel. And for it's that error of all things alone who is the sure foundation stone unto all those desiring his strength. Uh, and he is presently earth's only living hope who enables his own to shine ever so brightly uh, with the spellbinding holy illumination of the blazing fires of the glorified presence of the only lo living, loving God. And he is love. So know that the inspiration here at this channel was born upon the whitest wings of our high-flying dove of the ages, who lovingly calls upon all followers of the Lord's rising Son of love to put aside all evil religiosity that even causes the deceived souls of stagnant religion to hate any new word of love uh, with the most hurtful passion. It is totally insane. Uh, and as it was in the days of Elijah, let all the people of God standing w with the messenger of love, um, standing with him against all odds, let all people keep their hope for the, for the Lord is giving his word anew that he will return his terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if we will give him the desire of his heart. It is written that this will be considered in the latter days, Jeremiah 31. And for um, the Lord is on our side and let no one be afraid of anything due to his overwhelming love for us. Let our perfect love cast out all fear. So blessed are all those seeking the Lord's greatest kingdom age truth. For each truth that they learn shall become as a brand new truth that's never been heard or written 
by anyone else. So blessed are those by the spirit of the divine that arise from their sleep of ignorance to become sober and thoughtful and open-minded. For our Lord God wants to pour out his spirit of love upon all flesh. But you know, if you're as shallow as a glass of water, how can you contain the great ocean of his love that he wants to pour out on all flesh, as the prophet Joel foretold? You gotta, you gotta go with that flow, and uh, the 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 seas of his very best good tidings and wishes are there. So it's time to leave the safety of the shore and go out to the deep. Deep calls unto deep. He is the treasure of excellence. He is the uh, excellence of treasure and our priceless pearl of great reward. But he's only out in the deep. So you gotta come out with me. It's gonna get exciting. A grand time to be alive, that's for sure. So until next time, love you all.